<sighs> I love this time of year. Me too. My humans put a tree inside the house and normally I have to go outside to see a tree, so that's fun. That is fun. And even though the days are darker and the nights are colder, it's pretty nice that we instead celebrate spending time with family, generosity and turkey. Turkey! Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of what the holidays are about. But luckily, there are plenty of stories to remind us. Oh, 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 like the one about the very grumpy man who just wants money, but then on Christmas Eve he is taught a valuable lesson? Yeah, that one's a classic. Would you like me to tell it? Mm, can I tell it? <laughs> sure. It can be my present to you. Yay! Present! <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Our story begins on a snowy Christmas Eve night in Los Angeles. Uh-oh. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the plaza, not a creature was stirring except Ebenezer. Half rhyme. Oh, and there was also a big party, so all those people were stirring as well. It was a party to celebrate how Christmas Eve it was, but Ebenezer Gruber was like, I only love money, and that is why I have forgotten the true meaning of Christmas. So instead of celebrating, Ebenezer Gruber and his team of armed accountants tell everyone at the party to stop enjoying Christmas, and then he holds them hostage until a man in a suit agrees to give them millions of money, but the man refuses. Well, I can definitely see where you're going wrong, but for some reason I really need to hear what happens next. So, while Scrooge Gruber is ruining Christmas for everyone, a poor and humble man called John McCratchit, who is there to visit his poor and humble wife, well, he thinks, I'm going to teach Scrooge about the true meaning of Christmas, and then he goes to hide in an air vent. But Hans Scrooge Gruber finds out that John Cratchit is hiding, so he sends one of his armed accountants after him. Luckily, John out-accounts him and takes his radio so he can tell the Christmas police about how mean Hans is. I mean, this is just incredible to listen to. The Christmas police show up, but one of Scrooge's armed accountants tells them everything's fine and no one's being mean. But John knows the truth and throws a different accountant off the building or something to prove it. And wow, the Christmas police do not like that at all, so they vow to help John John teach Scrooge a lesson. I don't remember if he's the police of Christmas past or the police of Christmas present, but it's not important. No, of course. Why would it be? Meanwhile, someone from the 80s tries to talk to Ebenezer Hans, so Ebenezer shoots him, which is not very Christmas. And then Hans Ebenezer Scrooge McDuck puts some bombs on the roof, but we don't know why yet. And John McCratchit notices and out accounts some more accountants. Then suddenly outside, who should show up but the FBI of Christmas yet to come? And they say, what if we show Ebenezer what Christmas will be like without life? and microwaves, and then they turn off the electricity to scare him into not being mean. Of course. But this was Ebenezer's plan all along. Turns out Ebenezer Gruber wanted some money from a locked box, and when the electricity goes away, the box unlocks itself. And John, who is like, ho ho ho, I've lost my shoes, now finds out that the roof bombs are a trick, so no one will notice Scrooge escape with the money. So Scrooge starts escaping. Scrooge starts escaping, and he hasn't even learned the true meaning of Christmas yet. Devastating. Right? But before going through with it, Scrooge finds out that John's wife is there, and he's like, I haven't learned my lesson yet, grrr. So even though John has defeated lots of accountants by now and has a big Christmas gun, Scrooge tells him to put the gun down or he'll increase John's wife's rent or something. So John does put the gun down, but then he's like, wait, oh, what's that? And Ebenezer is all, oh no, it's mortality and I can't take my money with me when I die, which is when John rips off his wig and there's a smaller Christmas gun underneath and Ebenezer Scrooge is so shook that he falls out of a window in slow motion. Wow. So Hans Scrooge Gruber Ebenezer McDuck finally learned his lesson, and John and Mrs. Cratchit and everyone at the party are safe to keep celebrating Christmas forever. But just when you think it's all over, one final accountant appears and tries to be mean again, so the police of Christmas present slash past shoots him with Christmas spirit to save the day. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, yippee ki everyone. And that is how Ebenezer Gruber and everyone else in the whole world learned the true meaning of Christmas. Well, Pidge, that was truly special. Thanks. I'm doing my very best. You always do. Well, it's always fun to share things we love, even if we're still learning, even if other people already know more. Sharing and listening is a nice way to show someone you love that you enjoy spending time with them. Yeah, that's very true. Merry Christmas, Toby. Merry Christmas, Pidge. <laughs>